Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after these short messages. Hello and welcome to Thin Places Radio. I'm your host, and it is the middle of the night. But don't worry, you're not alone. I'm coming in hot from my studio, which is what I like to call the dark, ever-winding corners of the library stacks in the sub-basement. Everything is so muffled down here. If I stand still enough, it's like I can hear each of the books breathing slowly, like the plants they used to be. Plants don't breathe, you freak, you might be saying. If you're not saying that, I can give you a second. Yeah, go ahead. Of course they do. They move, too, too slow for us to see. They feel. They even think. They live beside us, but completely out of step with time. Sometimes that doesn't sound so bad. Sometimes it seems like a horror. But at least they have each other. The plants, I mean. And all the books down here, pressed up against one another. They might be able to see, too. The plants. The books might explain why it feels like I'm being watched. What is Thin Places Radio? Well, you can call in about anything strange that you've got going on in your life. Has something crawled into bed beside you when you thought the house was empty? Has a storm opened up above you in the desert? Did you go on a walk and find a plant that you thought went extinct thousands of years ago? Call in, get it off your chest. When the veil between worlds is thin, we get closer than ever to the strange and the unexplained, but also to each other. Let's close that gap a little more. Lines are open. So it's about 9 p.m. here, and I'm experiencing a pretty intense lightning storm. Maybe you can hear it right now. Uh, It's going nonstop. There's basically strobe lights in the sky, and there might even be hail, which is pretty weird for July in the desert. Um, It's a little silly, but I always get really scared during storms like this, so I was just wondering if you had advice on how to weather the storm a little better, so to speak. What do you do? Oh, listener, thank you for your call. I think it might be raining here, too, summer floors and floors and floors above me. There are a lot of things you could do about fear. You could try to kill it like a sniper from a far-off hill, or intimately with your hands around its throat. I haven't been afraid in a while, but I don't think that's what you should do. I don't think that's my advice for you, caller. Because the thing is, fear is a photo negative pointing back at your own life. You're afraid. Okay, that means you've got something to lose. And even if you think you don't, or even if you're afraid of something you don't have a name for, something you can't look directly at, the fear is the thing you can't name, and the way it might come for the last thing of all. That blood-pumping, bright-glowing, oxygen-screaming thing inside of you. Your life. So don't kill your fear. Don't build it up, but don't ignore it either. It's not a specter at the foot of your bed. It's not the thing you can't quite see outside in the lightning storm. It's the primal knot in your chest that's trying to keep you alive. It's the milkweed growing through the cracks near sidewalk. It's the thing that stops you from pressing yourself to the glowing red stovetop. Find it in your body and take it out and look at it. Name it. Remember the name of that ancient arcade game, listeners? 54, 34, 45, 13, 11, 33, 
44, 22, 34, 23, 34, 32, 15, 43, 34, 25, 15, 15, 35, 22, 34, 24, 33, 22. I've been walking this whole time, making only right turns. Two wrongs may not make a right, but four rights should have taken me back to where I started. But I'm only moving deeper into the stacks. The books are getting older the further I go into the hexagonal galleries. Their geometry warps. They're bound and locked and getting... louder? I think I gotta wrap it up. They... the books... aren't used to someone speaking this way. There are two ways out of anything. The way you got in, but no, that's not really a way. It closes behind you in seconds. There is one way out of anything. It's through. Thank you for listening, callers, and thank you for calling, listeners. I hope you feel a little bit lighter. I know I do. As always, our number is 717-382-8093. That's 717-382-8093. Until next time. I'll be here. Visit us at the diner just off on... Road. Right. Thin Places Radio is a podcast written by Kristen O'Neill and produced by Caitlin Bruder. The voice of your host is Kristen O'Neill. Tonight's voicemail is left for us by a mystery caller. Editing and sound design are by Caitlin Bruder, and the music tracks you heard are The Thin Places Theme by Miles Morkery and Umid by Rana. If you have a story to tell or a question to ask, give us a call at 717-382-8093. The lines are always open.